astronauts at the International Space Station who have been there since October. Bob Decimal 100 Monstron. That's in the Earth. Audio courtesy SpaceX. Officials said the problem involved a critical engine ignition system and they couldn't be sure there was a full load. They delayed the launch until at least Thursday. I'm Jennifer King. Business News is next. In the news time, 1226. That was the time to scream more Maple Leafs down the stretch drive.
through at Moore. So expect a back up there. And also on our city streets, we have Black Creek Drive, Drive closed between Eglinton and Lawrence. This is for an ongoing police investigation. And then Trasui is shut down both ways through Black Creek as well. I know on the major routes, we're dealing with some volume delays. On the eastbound 401, it's a bit slow through Kipling. Uh, not too bad otherwise, though. Just watch out for construction on the eastbound 401, east of Brock Road towards Salem. The left lane is closed. And they also have a lane blocked on the westbound 401 from Salem to west of Westney. MTO crews have that left lane closed off for construction as well. Uh, just a minor delay westbound 401 from the 404 to Bayview and the Express. And traffic is slow up the northbound Don Valley Parkway from Eglinton to north of Lawrence. If you're planning to get on to the westbound 407, just keep in mind the northbound Appleby ramp to the westbound 407 is closed, and that's for construction. Trust Record Express for industry-leading standards in storage, scanning, and shredding. Visit recordxpress.ca for details. Door Scan Shred Canadian. And now with the forecast, here's Denise Andriachi. Well, those winds picking up out of the east, mostly cloudy now, and that snow is on the way. We are expecting 5 to 15 centimeters weather advisories in place. Uh, we are also getting into some of that mixing as well with some ice pellets and freezing drizzle and freezing rain. Now this will be later on this evening as those temperatures climb just a little bit and also overnight into Tuesday morning. But definitely be prepared for those 5 to 10 centimeters of snow throughout the evening hours and the, with the winds as well, poor visibility due to blowing and drifting snow and just that rapid accumulation. It's not going to be a fun drive in the next couple hours. The guaranteed high zero. City News Stop 1233. A man is in hospital with serious injuries after being shot by Toronto police in a North York park. It happened just before 8 this morning near Black Creek and Trithui. Our Charlene Close joins us live with what we know so far. Charlene? Scott, we just got an update from the province's police watchdog. The special investigations unit has issued a news release. We're hoping to hear from uh, a spokesperson from the SIU shortly. It says so far they've learned that officers were called to the park for a report of a man with a knife threatening another man who was walking a dog. There was an interaction between the man and officers when they arrived to the park. Two of the officers fired tasers and another officer fired his gun. The SIU now describes the person's injuries as serious. Originally, we had been told that the injuries were life-threatening. Reporting live, Charlotte Close City News. Hampton police have arrested one of two suspects following a violent armed carjacking in Milton. It happened last Tuesday, and police believe the same suspects are responsible for several other crimes that same day. Last night, police arrested a 38-year-old man in Brampton. He's facing multiple charges. They are still looking for a second suspect. The federal government announced a $4 million investment into fighting crimes and gang violence in Durham region. The money will be given to community groups focused on youth who are at risk of becoming part of a gang, as well as helping to address the underlying conditions that lead to crime. City News Time 1235. The GTA is set to experience a mixed bag of wintry weather starting this afternoon. It's all set to start soon as flurries. Our weather specialist Denise Andriachi says as we head into the overnight hours, the mixed precipitation will continue. That risk for some mixed precipitation is also in the forecast for this evening for some sections of the GTA. We're really flirting with that zero degree mark for most of the evening and overnight, and that's why we're seeing some different precipitation types play out as the atmosphere conditions sort of change. And this latest storm will continue into tomorrow morning. Now for today, Environment Canada has issued travel advisories across the GTA as well as special weather statements for most of the area, excluding Toronto. And as we prepare for this next round of snow, some are complaining their streets weren't, even, weren't uh, cleared up following last week's storm. Our Laura Carney reports calls are going to change the city's plowing standards. While homeowners and business owners have strict rules to follow when it comes to clearing sidewalks adjacent to their property after the snow falls, the city's rules for itself are a little different, including when it comes to plowing roads. And days after last week's storm, many have complained about side streets not being cleared. So now, some are calling on the city to change its plowing criteria, including Councillor Josh Matlow. I think that we need to invest in higher standards for when the city comes out and clears snow and how quickly the city comes out and clears snow. Right now, for local roads, the city won't start plowing until 8 centimeters of snow has fallen. And its criteria states local roads must be safe and passable, which is defined as being free from 
from as much ice and snow as is practical and may be traveled safely at reasonable speed. Laura Carney, City News. There's concern privatization is creeping more and more into Ontario's health care network. Our Jasmine Graywall is following that story and joins us live with more. Jasmine. Irene, yes. The Ontario Health Coalition says they're deeply concerned about the Ford government's move, which allows for the privatization of some public health services. This includes the surgeries and diagnostic tests. And Bill 60, your health care act, it was introduced by the provincial government to allow for just that. The health group now claims when Premier Ford made the announcement back in January, he said patients would only be charged with their OHIP card and not with their credit card. However, Natalie Mara, the executive director of the Health Coalition, says they now have evidence that claims private clinics have overcharged some Ontarians thousands of dollars, which is in direct violation of the Health Care Act. Mara adds despite having the power to stop it, the Ford government has continued to allow for this, and the backlog they were dealing with in public hospitals was not just due to the triple demic, but other factors as well. This is not because we don't have the money. Ontario funds our hospitals has the lowest rate of any province in Canada. Bill 60 expands capacity for private clinics, which the coalition claims are those that have charged patients for medically necessary services or upsold patients in their care. Reporting live, Johnson Braywell, City News. In Scarborough, drivers can expect delays around Victoria Park and Shepherd as crews.